this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Blog. This is another lab video and we are going to migrate our Windows based vCenter to VCSA 6.5. So to do this you need to connect to the vCenter and launch the migration assistant. It needs to be launched on the server on the server on the host. And then from the management workstation we're gonna mount the VCSA 6.5 ISO file. Here it is. Mount it. And as we are on Windows, we're gonna use the Win32 folder from where we're gonna execute the installer. The installer can can install, upgrade, migrate or restore. So it's quite complete and for our lab video and our lab case we're gonna choose the migrate option what's gonna happen is that uh, we're gonna enter some information and then we deploy VCSA with a temporary IP address and after the installer will copy all the data from all the vCenter to the new one and do the upgrade. So here we just enter the IP address of the Windows vCenter, the SSO password. And this is uh, the IP address of the vCenter to where we're gonna deploy the VCSA so it's the same IP address and we need the account which has uh, enough permissions to do this we choose a folder host name host and name for the game and we choose a host where the VM will gonna be deployed within our cluster. We put some name, root password, and go just a tiny deployment. And we're gonna pick the thin disk mode. So we're not gonna consume all our flash storage. Okay, so what else? Network information. Yes, we need some network details for a temporary IP. If you want to use DHCP, you can. There is an option for it. And DNS server. And that's about it. Yeah, I um, accelerated the video a little bit because the, all the deployment it takes quite a time, and you will see it's gonna be over half an hour. All this. So this video is through some parts accelerated quite a bit. What's happening? We just finished the deployment phase. Deployment phase, okay. Continue. And uh, then we're gonna do the step two. The step two, you can do it through the same installer or you can do it through the VAMI via the 4580 port. This is just uh, our Zerto plugin which is not compatible with the 6.5 and if you're using Zerto just make sure that you check with them when their product gonna be compatible with the 6.5 version. Here we are entering our Active Directory password
and what to migrate? Well, you can just go migrate the configuration or configuration events and task or everything. And do you have a backup? Yes, I do have a backup. Finish. And here again, we're gonna heavily accelerate the video because it just takes forever this copy yeah it, it's a bit long but it's reliable I didn't receive any errors so I think VMware did make sure that the process is very robust and, uh, and you could see the system just shut down our vCenter VM because all the other configuration gonna happen on the VCSA so our vCenter v VM has been shut down okay so here what we can do is we can open vSphere client on the host to see what's happening to the VCSA VM because this VM has to change configuration as to change IP address upgrade to light it to the I mean um, copy all the informations from the vCenter to the target well apparently the installer is still waiting to shut down the source machine I don't know why because we can see that the old vCenter it's called VC it has been already shut down but I'm not gonna touch anything since yeah it's okay it's continue and again we can accelerate the video so we can skip Okay, great. So we have two options to start vSphere Web Client or we can just go to the getting started page. So let's start the vSphere Web Client, vSphere Client, which is the Flash based. Yes, the Flash based, but uh, apparently VMware again made this flash client faster than in the previous release but it is the flash client which is actually uh, the only client uh, which is finished let's try the C sharp client and this one I have some error, error so it for me it doesn't work I don't know if it's for everyone yeah well first login takes some time but we successfully have our vSphere 6.5 installed here I have some alarms which I'll check it up later but as you can see I have everything back in place all the migration is just happen fine what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna test the new vSphere client the HTML5 so as you can see the UI is the new shortcut which you need to put after 
do vc.lab.local and as you can see it's pretty nice great I have everything in place excellent thanks very much for watching bye bye